Oh, shit. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Hey, welcome back to this cow pooping. They, they, they censor the so many swear words in the Xbox version. Seriously, dude, it's like, it's you think it'd be the other way around. It was Conquer Live and Reloaded. It was going to be called Conquer Live and Uncut. Yeah, I remember you told me that. It was gonna be completely uncensored, and it makes sense because it's on Xbox. It's yeah. on Microsoft, not Kitty Nintendo. Yeah, not Kitty. Nintendo. Ironically, it's like no, you guys have to censor the word asshole and shit yeah. and fellatio. Yeah. Seriously, they censor fellatio. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Oh, so there was actually a- Can't have that. There, there were actually a few more things. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. I just ate shit. Ha <laughs> <laughs> poop flavored level, and the poop jokes, and you made a poop joke, and then you just made another poop joke. Hey, it's just easy, man. Poop joke. So, um, so a couple other things happened at the party. So one thing I forgot to say, when we played <laughs> Cards Against You, <laughs> Happy Tree Friends. Dinner, 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 yummy, yummy, winner, yummy, winner, dinner, chicken dinner, 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 dinner. So when, when we played Cards Against Humanity, it was a lot of fun, but I gotta say, you know what's really annoying? When you're, when you're at a party and you're playing a game with a bunch of people, yeah. and it's a game, like a card game, in which you need to be able to hear yeah. the other people playing, but yeah. you have a another crowd of people like at a table next to you playing a different game yeah. and they're freaking loud and because oh. they're so freaking loud you can't hear the really quiet people trying to oh. play the game with you so yeah. yeah there were some like really quiet people playing like this i wanted to do this with carl johnson but blank told me that i should do blank i'm like what sorry i can't hear you can you please can you talk louder please I had to freaking yell out loud during. You know what I'm talking about? I, I, yeah. It's annoying. Uh, <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> um, oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to say was, uh, I, uh, one of my friends there, let's call him W. Hey, W, if you're watching this, what's up? He, uh, Dumb Jollers W. Bush? Oh, if only. Uh, You're he, famous. he showed me this really funny video. He showed me a bunch of videos that he made. He's huge into animation, kind of like me. And he, he made. Do you know huge. what? Do you know what five second movies is? No. Oh. Well, he. It's a thing where you take like five seconds to explain a movie, and. Okay. He used. He did it for Hunchback of Notre Dame mm -hmm. by Disney. Okay. And he took the. Once there was an ugly particle. He was so ugly, <laughs> everyone died. The end. <laughs> yeah, it, I laughed super hard. I was like, dude, that's amazing. You're awesome. Uh, he's he's called the animated freak. Check it out right here. Um Yeah, he, he has some good stuff. So um and then lastly, uh the guy who hosts the party, he mm -hmm. actually ended up I don't know how he has a I don't know how he has a connection with her, but he somehow uh got a Skype session going with one of the voice actresses on the show. What? Yeah, her name's Michelle Kreber. She voices, uh, her name's Apple Bloom. Okay. She, she voices her, and she's also, she's a very talented individual. She has a lot of songs for sale on iTunes and crap, and, <laughs> yeah, no, we got to Skype with her and talk to her and stuff, and it was a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah, dude, it was super, we were just there, like, this huge crowd of, like, older people and crap, and we were like, oh my god, you're amazing! And she's like, hi guys, what's up? Yeah. She, she sang, uh... She sang stuff in her character's voice and all that stuff. You know, stuff to please the rabid fans. Sweet. Have you ever met any, like, celebrities or voice actors or anything? Uh, uh, no. I gotta take you to a, to a convention sometime. I've been to conventions. I gotta go to, like, a anime or something. I'm not huge into anime, but I, I met, what's his name? He plays Vic in uh, Full, Met Full Metal Alchemist, or whatever the main character's name is. Al? I don't remember. He's he's the one he's, he's the one who's not a big ass metal thingy. <laughs> the older brother. Yeah. Yeah. He. I got to meet him, and I got a video with him there. Cool. I got it for my roommate at the time because he and his boyfriend were huge into that show. Sweet. And, he, and he, I got a video of him saying. Hey guys, look, your friend James came to this convention, and now you have to go and get, come to a convention and get something for him. And that's what I like to call equivalent exchange. <laughs> I was like, yeah. He seemed like a pretty nice guy. 
Sweet. Come yeah, dude. I also got to meet the nostalgia critic there. That's the whole reason I went, and it was so awesome. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I'd like to tell more about that story, but I've been talking a lot. Is there anything you would like to say, Elliot? Or shall I keep rambling? Uh, I'll, I'll talk. Just, uh, I don't have anything to contribute to this. In that case, I will keep rambling on. Oh boy. If that's okay with you. Go for it. I just, I fucking hate it when people interrupt. Or, like... I would it's never fucking that, interrupt you, man. It's clear that you have more to say, and they're like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna disregard what you said. <laughs> kind of like what I do with you, except I actually <laughs> let you say it all out. <laughs> I'm more respectful about it. At least I think so. Respect. Um, so yeah, at that convention, uh, it was back in 2013. I went there, and I got to meet Doug Walker, the nostalgia critic, and he's one of my idols. I freaking love him, and I have so much respect for him, and he has this joke where, uh, he has this running ga gag where if somebody brings up the word bat credit card, he gets really pissed off, like, bat credit card! He jumps off the stage and he, like, pretends to beat the shit out of you. And then he, if you actually have a credit card, he'll take it and save it. He has, like, a binder full of bat credit cards that fans have made for him. Jesus. It, 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 it all stems from this old crappy 90s Batman movie called Batman and Robin where Batman actually has a bat credit card. And it's so cheesy and lame and dumb that in the video he reacts like, a bat credit card? No, that's so stupid. Uh. So because of that, people tease him with it at conventions. The guy who's sitting next to me in the very front row, of course I got the front row, I was like, Doug Walker. I even went there dressed as Doug Walker as the nostalgia critic. Mm -hmm. You know, with the tie and everything, and uh, I right when I got there at the front row, I just stood and I said, "Doug, I love you." And he said, "And I love you, guy who looks like me." <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but anyways, he uh, the guy sitting next to me took a little piece of paper and drew, took a pen and drew kind of a shitty looking bat credit card. And at one point, he yelled out, "Bat credit card!" And Doug jumped off the stage and ran up to him sitting next to me and went pow, pow, pow. he took it and ran back on stage and he said this is the shittiest bat credit card i've ever gotten <laughs> uh fun memory lots of fun i cool. love doug walker it's it's just so much fun to meet your idols dude it's yeah. a great feeling somebody's home hi jen welcome elliot's to Boy the recording. Friend, or I mean girlfriend just got back from work. Woohoo! <laughs> Alright. Sweet. So is, is that what you're gonna say about the party? Uh <laughs> Yeah no, I yeah, yeah, dude. I, I shared all I wanted to share about the party. <laughs> Ten eons later. Oh, you were thinking I had more to say and oh. No, dude. Nope. Well no, I just yeah, I didn't really have anything to say on that front. Cool. That sounds fun. There was something you wanted to say about the party? No, I, I was just like gonna take the conversation in a different direction, but you were, you oh. were rocking and rolling. Oh, okay. Well, was there something you wanted to say? No, no. Not really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Miscommunication. Communication breakdown. Mm -hmm. It's the best, what man. What the fuck is going on over there? The, it's funny. This morning, this morning, Elliot actually. Uh, we had a slight miscommunication over where when I was gonna arrive <laughs> here here at a space sort station of. today. We yeah. we texted about it, and I was James like, "James texted me at like 11. He's like, he's like, you still want to record today? I'm like, yeah, dude. And he's like, okay, cool. I just gotta walk my dog and take a shower. I'm like, all right, great. He'll be here in like an hour or so. He's like, uh, you know, take a quick shower, walk your dog, and head on over. And then um, about an hour after that, it was like, okay, now I'm getting ready to leave. I was like, okay, okay, another like 30, 40 minutes probably. And then 15 minutes after that, he's like, I'm having problems with my belt. I was like. Okay. And then, what? Oh. Okay. Yeah. And then like 30 minutes after that or so, he's like, I'm going to get food real quick. I was like, okay. And then <laughs> three hours after 11, James shows up. I was like, yo, dog. Yeah. It didn't seem that long to me. But then again, I, I, was, I wasn't the one waiting. So I guess I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like I was just sitting here like, when is that motherfucker going to come to my space station, bitch? Oh, I, I'd actually feel better if that's how you did react. Because then I'd feel like you love me and want to see me that bad. No, which I, was, I know you do. I was like, man, I could just be brushing my teeth right now. Ooh. Oh, there's the money. 
Okay. But instead, I didn't have enough time to brush my teeth because I had to stand by the door waiting for the exact moment you got here. Um, <laughs> Jen chuckled at that. <laughs> um, teeth are clean! So yeah, at that point I was like, okay, you know what, maybe we should just, like, never text ever again. <laughs> I was like, no, texting serves a purpose. Yeah, how about we just never text? We, if we just do face... That was actually really cool. When we, Telepathical when that, communication. We had a FaceTime Pro chat last week. Not FaceTime. Or whatever it's called. Fucking Google Duo. Google, okay, whatever. That's right. Next time on Royal Goobs, I'm gonna Royal Duo. I eat shit.